Trump thinks America's main problem is represented by the bad deals it has with other countries. He stated that improper trade deals with countries such as China or Mexico are making the U.S. lose jobs and also attack the military agreements of the U.S., complaining about how 73% of the cost of NATO is covered by the United States and about how the U.S. is currently protecting rich countries such as Japan or South Korea without receiving adequate compensation. He intends to cut taxes by, for example, reducing the corporate tax rate from 35% to 15%. In his view, the U.S. will make more money by increasing its economic activity and save money by renegotiating its international agreements. Clinton has a completely different perspective and isn't as vocal when criticizing other countries, especially allies of the United States, such as NATO countries, whom she reassures of America's commitment to protecting them. Hillary Clinton believes the main economic problem is represented by the fact that the rich don't pay enough taxes. She intends to raise more money by increasing taxes for the wealthiest Americans, as well as closing corporate loopholes, and wants to use those funds for policies such as increasing the minimum wage or paid family leave. Clinton claims the U.S. has recovered after the crisis and believes Trump's plans would jeopardize that by causing a loss of 3.5 million jobs and increasing the national debt by $5 trillion. Trump, on the other hand, claims we're in a bubble and criticized the Federal Reserve for keeping interest rates low. That's pretty much it. The rest of the debate has been mostly political.